What's crackling everybody, I'm Romasta. Welcome back to Medieval Engineers, and uh, I made some adjustments. So, where are we? <laughs> Cut myself all lost. Uh, over here, I have the wheel that I had before, but you can see that I got rid of the extra base I had on it. I brought it back down to here, because there was a comment that was talking about trying to put the switch higher up, and I, I what I did was I, I put this here first, and then I put the switch there, and I'm like, wait, I forgot, it doesn't actually connect it at the top. So, I put a switch over here and a switch over here. So depending on which side I want, I have one over here and I made a little balcony basically so I can climb up and down. Uh, there is no stairs up because I technically don't need them. I mean, it's not really something that's necessary after the thing's built. So, I mean, all that's left is those two platforms up there. Everything else is good. I mean, I even like how that thing came together. It's like a little space right there. It's almost perfect. But, uh, yeah, anyways, the switch is right here, so I have access to it. I can turn this one on, then come out here and just use this for making wheat and stuff, which I don't think I have any of. This is for the wheat? Yeah. No, I turned them all into seeds because I didn't have a lot to begin with because I didn't quite realize how little I had. So over here is that one, and I could just come up to the switch, flip you back off, and then come over here, flip this one on, and then this one over here is working. So I'll probably am trying to set up the same thing on the castle when we go back up there. Where's the castle? Where's the castle? There's the castle. <laughs> uh, which I still haven't even finished. I mean, I want to add another, like, a second tier onto that. I just haven't gotten back to that. I keep, I keep, I got sidetracked down by here. But now we have our windmill that does everything, and it, it, it kind of entertains me for the sheer factor that it's like, it looks like it has legs. <laughs> It's just, it's just entertaining. Our arms or something. But, I mean, I can make everything, and I put the light, that uh, light from the grave, in here. Actually, wasn't that wasn't from the grave. That was from the Easter egg, basically. But I put it in here, and it's amazing at nighttime on how bright it is in there. Like, of course, I did it as soon as I was finished making everything. But, I mean, nonetheless. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, as far as space to build things. So I have this here, so I could potentially put, like, a way to get into that room. But I don't know how would be the best way. I mean, I guess I could just put the diagonal things down. Oh, like, something doesn't seem right. Ooh, something isn't right. Where's my food at? My food has been super high. Oh, because I was standing around doing nothing for a while. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, tell me I didn't plant them all. And I, before I started recording, too, I, I did a bunch of different things, just gathering resources, but I also picked all these and replanted them. Then I was screwing around with this. I didn't mean to use it, but I, w I did the claims. So if I click on something, you pay it, it does it for two hours and five minutes for the stone. But it depends on what you use. So an hour and 20 minutes, and it tells you how many days to. I did the six gold bars that I came back with. And I didn't mean to use them, but I did use them, and it gave me two days and 12 hours or something. Like, it was a long time. But I don't truly think it matters when you're playing by yourself. Because, I mean, over here I don't have one. This is where originally it stuck one. I think it was, like, right here or something. And it still says Grillmaster's area. I mean, the, the claim's gone. I noticed that disappeared relatively quick. I assume it was when the hour originally from placing it disappeared. But I don't know. I mean, and if it's by game time, then it's going to last, like, oh, and it's still going to last a good long time. But I may put, I think I'm going to put one up there and there, up in the castle. Which somebody, another comment said, uh, I should have put one underneath the floor. And I was like, oh, that would have been a great idea. But at the same time, the stability would have been all wonky. And I don't know if it would have worked as well. You're not finished. Okay, I don't know how that happened. I may have hit it, to be honest. No, I just simply didn't finish all the floors. How is that possible? What was the other one? You just showed me one that wasn't... Okay, I don't even know. Whatever, anyways... What I wanted to do today was to work on, please tell me I have them, was to work on the actual, oh, the wheels are up there, yes. The way to do the things out here, I want to do the, the weed out here basically, and there is going to be just flax, yeah, okay, and then, uh, I'm trying to, I was trying to remember if I had this set up somewhere, uh, I did... What are these called? I actually can't even remember what they're called anymore, the landscapes. I put the whole little landscape up. Basically, you put a spike down and you put a rope to each one. I think this is all. <laughs> I guess. Oh, wait. I didn't even think about it. What if I... 
Okay. So it shows me where there's an uneven terrain. Is there anything that's uneven? I mean, it looks like it's pretty even, except for maybe right here. Like, does it... What I'm wondering is, does it even it out? Or does it just keep going down? I mean, I honestly don't know. I'm hoping it just evens it out. It doesn't drop it below a certain point. No, it looks like it's just dropping it down to that point. That's awesome. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure how this worked, but now I guess this is... I, now I know. <laughs> I mean, that is even, right? Okay, let's put the shovel away. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty even. I mean, I'm gonna still have to, like, sew all this down, but... No, you're still above. This whole little area is. In fact, this is, like, actually, yeah, under underground, or cord is, anyways. Boop. Oh, well, I don't think I'm gonna shovel this whole thing right now, but I will actually. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. So I kind of I dug out there and it actually took a deeper hole than I planned, but now I think I'm filling it back in up to where it's even, I guess. No, I'm still okay. So I can still fill in above. No. Yes, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's put the shovel away. I mean, I guess this seems pretty even. I won't know fully until I clear it. Well, I mean, I have the hoe. I can at least try. Just so we can see. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> Will it actually stay inside is another question. No, it goes outside still. Whoa. I dude didn't know what was happening. I mean, it still seems pretty flat. It's downhill, which actually could work for me when I go to use the plow. Um, that was something you may have seen in my inventory. So I have... The, I made up the harvester, a simple harvester for crops that can be attached to the cart or other mechanic is... What? What? What other kind of machines can you attach it to? I mean, <laughs> oh my god, just opened up my mind to so many other things. Like set up some sort of automatic thing that literally just goes like forward and then back. But uh, yeah, we well, need wind power, I assume. I don't know. I'm just doing a cart. That's all I'm going to try to do. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to set some things up then for the cart. Uh, I'm gonna leave these here, these landscape spikes. I think I'm gonna try to just keep it there as a way to, like, know where I want my stuff at. Okay, so we got number seven. My god, I tried this. So, when I was originally trying to build a siege thing, I, I couldn't figure out how to do this. And people were, like, saying, just scroll your mouse wheel. My mouse wheel didn't work when I did this the first time. Like, and I, I've tried it since, and it still didn't work. I don't know why suddenly it is working now. But it, it would not do this. Like, all it did was bring it closer to me every time. And I wasn't holding the control button. Maybe my control was stuck or something. I don't know. But, okay. That's... <laughs> now I can actually do the siege tactics. I mean, I guess maybe I should, to be honest. Because then it'll unlock more things, wouldn't it? Hmm. Oh, all right. I guess we're going to do the siege thing now. Siege mechanics. Okay. So I need timber place two timbers so I need to first just put simply put down well, definitely not that one give me the full timber uh, <laughs> trying to figure out what all the little all the buttons are over here so I don't have to keep going to page up whatever nope that's an auto run there's an auto run all right we'll just upside down man nope there you go flip up there we go okay I'm gonna stick it right here okay put Two vertically into the ground and hold your chassis above the ground while you build. Okay, so yeah. Well, I don't know why I want two, but... I guess maybe because it's going to be bigger? Or do you want me to just put two next to each other? I don't know. I guess we're going with that. Place the timber eight on each of the horizontal... Timber ten at 90 degree angles. Alright. Horizontal... Wait, what? Number nine? Number eight. Okay. And you want me to put it right there? Flip. Turn. Oh, did it just put it off? Uh, no, it's still good. Okay. Place a catch block on each corner. Oh, no, I screwed up. All right, well, you know what? We'll fix this. We'll fix this. I put this in a horrible place because I'm going to have this freaking thing in my face the whole time. 
Okay. I'm just gonna remove these two. I mean, it's still all weird, but whatever. Okay, we need the catch blocks, which are in my inventory right here. Um, I mean, I don't need the ropes right now. And I don't need that. I know I'm gonna need the wheels, so let's catch block. Flippy over. Which kind, though? Does it matter? It has to be up here? No. I'm so confused where you want me to place this. Okay, I guess that's fine. <laughs> this seems really tiny. It seems absolutely tiny. Right there. And place the wheel. Number nine. Is that right? This is a very, very tiny siege thing. Okay. Now you have the chassis finished. Gather the parts needed to build the throwing mechanism. I need four timber, rope eye plate, rope torsion spring, and catapult bucket. I have neither of those. I don't think I've ever even made those. I don't think I've ever even seen those. Were they just now available because I got this? Possibly. Uh, oh, and then there's one other idea I, I, I want to say now before I forget. Somebody talked about trying to put an elevator on that thing. And I was thinking about it. I mean, you could potentially do it. Just I'm not 100% sure what the best way would be. I mean, you could have something hang down with a rope. And you would have the wheel on the actual like platform, I guess. And you just pull yourself up. I'm not sure if that would work or not. But it's something I want to try. Unless <laughs> you can tell me in the comments below if it's a bad idea before I even do it. I'm gonna do the catapult bucket. Alright, and then what's the other thing? Uh rope torsion spring. My guess is that's not gonna be here. Rope torsion spring. Gotta keep saying it or I'm gonna forget it. That's the only reason why I keep saying it. Nope, I was probably wrong. Rope torsion spring. No, it's in here. You need two catch blocks? Okay. Seems that that's weird. Oh, I guess it's got. Okay, never mind. It's not weird. It makes sense. R Q R S. Alphabet. <laughs> All right, there we go. Rope stretched across the frame that's been twisted by a piece of timber to create a spring. Oh, I was thinking it was gonna be a metallic spring. I wasn't thinking about it like a rope spring. Okay, we gotta place that. So place three timber, eight inside the chassis, three space from one end to... What, what, what? Okay, open this thing up. Siege mechanics, go to quest. You show me a picture of all this insanity. Wait, what? That's not what mine looks like at all. <laughs> That's not what mine looks like at all. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Place three timber eight inside the chassis to space it out, but I, just, I can't do that. It's not gonna row. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. I mean, I could do this maybe. Um. Hmm. <laughs> all right. I wanna. Can I quickly just go to stairs? There we go. I don't even have to build them. Just literally put a stairs up and then bring you bring you up come on right here it's too close oh i can't build it here can i no because that's in the way that's not gonna work then oh no i can still build up here okay so number eights i mean i guess i could potentially let's rotate you one I need to put eight. What happens if I put more than eight? Because <laughs> I'm going to put more than eight now. I want you place. Place right here. No. Where are you going? Okay, that didn't work. Maybe I can place it right there. There we go. Now I should be able to place it. Put it up against that the rest of the time. All right, and we need the rope torsion spring, but do, where are you? Right there, all right. 
Put it right in the middle. Make sure the small timber protruding from the rope torsion spring points at the closest end of the chassis. Okay. Yeah, no. Wait, what? Crap. Okay, I was like, please tell me. You tell me this afterwards. I like that. I like how they say this afterwards. Make sure it's pointed this specific direction. Okay, go on there. No, now you're going to the weird place. There we go. Okay, so number seven. And I need... Timber six? Okay, so they're just gonna attach you right there. This function is a throwing arm. You'll need to pull back the arm, place a rope eye plate on the top of the timber. Okay. So I gotta put the rope eye up here. I already had one, I don't know why. I think maybe I thought it would be necessary when I was building the other things. No, stop it. Right there. Place the catapult bucket at the end of the throwing arm. Okay, make sure that, yeah. Make sure that it's facing the right direction, because that would suck. Uh, you're gonna be down at the bottom, right there. Okay, we gotta come back down here again. I want me to put this so far up in the air, I almost wanna remove those things just and drop it on the ground. Come on, come on. It's like, this is a pain in the butt. That's why I think it's just easier to throw up a stairs again. All right, there we go. Now I can just walk right up to it. And then when I'm done, I can just destroy these stairs, but then I'm gonna have this forever stain on my ground. Nope, that's wrong. Make sure to put it the right direction, and what do I do? Put it the wrong direction. There we go. Alright, so obtain a rope drum. Oh god, I gotta do that again. Oh no. Oh no. Not good with these. They don't give you them back when you screw up. I mean, it just means I need to save. Rope drum. Luckily, I got a crap ton of rope on me already. Uh, catch block and a hand crank wheel. Catch block. Hand crank wheel. Take you. Take you. And actually, you know what? While I'm at it, I'm going to actually make a second one. <laughs> oh, where's the rope? Can I do it? I don't have enough ropes. I just realized that may have actually been all of my ropes. Dang it, because yeah, the rope tension thing took ropes too. Alright, well, whatever. I, I, I made up some more stuff to make more ropes. I hope. I hope, hope. Yay, I made more. Okay. I'm going to just tell it to make some ropes and then walk away because the ropes take a second to make. Oh, no, the basic right here. All right. Boop. Okay, so extended catch block. The end of the chassis furthest from the throwing mechanism place an extended catch block at one side. Oh my God. Hmm. And now we need another stair. <laughs> Um, there we go. I mean, this one I should have just done from the beginning, because I gotta... Oh, no, it's not even! Oh! I hope that doesn't screw things up later on. I really should have hopped up here from the beginning. Holy crap. Alright, whatever. Whatever, man. Uh, I need the catch block. Where are you? Down here at the bottom. Turn you, put you right here. <laughs> so awkward. I mean, all I gotta do really to make it even is just go back to seven. Uh, give me the timber eight. Oh, I can't because the wheels. Wait, that's an easy fix. Huh? What? Maybe it's not an easy fix? Can I not deconstruct my wheels? Oh, I can just take him back. Okay, there we go. That works. Ah, excuse me? What did I just detach? Did I just detach this thing? I didn't mean to take that one off. All right, well, whatever. Whatever, man. I'll put you right there. Put you right there. Flip you around. There we go. Now it's even. Now it's at least even. 
Now I gotta put all the wheels and everything back on, because I screwed all that up. Okay. Gotta look at this example, because I don't know what they want me to do here. Oh! Well, crap. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I thought they wanted. <laughs> look at the picture, and that is completely different than what I expected. So, after a whole bunch of just chaos, um, this is, this is not how they intended me to build it, I realized, you know, clearly, earlier on. Um, but I can finally, I finally have it. So we have the one-sided and then this, and then we need the hand crank right here. Okay, so the hand crank, oh, I don't have that on the inventory spot. Hand crank, you are not a hand crank, you're a hand crank. Put your rod right here, rotate, bam. Okay, we're done. We have a catapult, even though we're not done. You didn't tell me all of it. Just realize this. You didn't actually you didn't have me put the rope on there. Oh, God. Can I? Before you end up rolling down a hill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, um... I don't want it to roll down the hill. Can you not be underground? Thank you. There we go. There we go. I can utilize this. Keep it right there. Get out of this. I don't want to be in the build menu. I need to be here, and I need to put a rope on. This has been the most chaotic. This, this siege thing, it's like every time I've attempted it, it's always broken my brain. And I don't know why. I, I'm not, I legitimately don't know why. This one in particular, I've had such a hard time with. This is one of the things that intrigued me the most, too, is siege battles. Okay, so I can attach you to there. To, to here? Oh no. Okay. How do I attach it? Um. Number eight. I do have ropes on. Oh, I didn't have ropes on. That's why. Like, why are they not attaching? Okay. Hehehe. <laughs> Hold it. Turn it back. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, so that just happened. I can't even reload because it hasn't saved in like almost an hour. <laughs> it's not like I was going to use it, but wow, that was... <laughs> oh, I felt like it was fine and then I just kind of kept cranking it or something. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's because I cranked it just a little too far and it was like, I don't like this. And wow. All right, well, hey, you know the best part is I can just take these things back and now I can use this for my uh, my wagons to do the farm. So let me clear all this up. But I'll see you back there in a second. So <laughs> I just remembered my stairs. <laughs> my stairs got beat. Oh god, I didn't mean to actually. Okay, that was fun. My stairs killed me. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna place this down before I do anything else as well. Uh, I brought one of the tables out here because I figured I do a lot of building. Might as well. Bring the tables out. I don't know why I'm building this. Why did I just do that? That wasn't. There was no point for that. No, wait, no resources. Oh, I don't have planks. I don't need planks right now. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna work on. So work off of this one, I think. Uh, number seven. Okay, so full size timber. Give me the full size. So first, we're gonna go. Well, you know, I me mean, do we really want full size? I guess let's try this. How big is the actual plow? you down there I guess I just right click the plow is one more okay so what is number what, is it, what are we at we're number seven we're number eight number eight is what we want so get rid of you bam and then put number eight on there turn rotate okay, put you right there so that'll be that way how wide should we go? I mean, eight. I feel like eight's gonna be good. Wide enough. Okay, it's coming off of that side. Yeah, because I don't need to be super wide. All right, and then in that case, you are actually gonna have to disappear. All right, number seven. Turn, bam, there we go. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then I can just put all the wheels. Oh no, I don't have them. I didn't get all my wheels back. I'm missing, what? Three wheels? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go make the wheels. 
All right, let me quickly plot the bow. Oh, no. Because of my placement of it, I can't. Oh, crap. Uh, I mean, am I going to want it above or below, though? I'm not honestly sure. All right, give me one second. I got to make this up. Let's put this right here. I really, really don't know why I keep building in the same spot. I, I should have moved, but I didn't. All right. <laughs> Number eight. Get over here so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, catch block. Yes. I assume the normal catch block is fine for the wheels. I don't know if there's a better one to use for wheels or not. I mean, I guess, what is it, the one-sided catch block? The one-sided, I guess, would be even better. Because then you're literally just, just literally attached to the one side. But I don't know. We're going to put these on the back. If I can. There we go. <laughs> Apparently, i got to crouch. One more time. Right there. Okay, and then we put the wheels on. This is basically how I should have been building the catapult, but... No, I had to build it all crazy. Alright, I don't need to be crouching anymore. <laughs> Rotate you, put you there. Put you there. I feel like it pokes out a little bit more. It does poke out a little bit more. Alright, do I want it in the front or the back? So I'm kind of thinking if I put, if I do it right, I could potentially do... Uh, which one is it? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. So I have all three of these. Well, no, I'm only going to want two. You do the harvester. No, I don't really want to do the harvester in the front. I would do this, the plow in the front and the cedar in the back. Okay, so we go to number eight. My God, why are you so green in the face? There we go. That's the cedar. Not what I meant to do. I mean, there's no saying that's not the front, but... <laughs> Try that again. Oh, that's not how it's supposed to go. Rotate. Okay. I don't know if I... I'd probably want it touching the ground, wouldn't I? So we're actually going to want to move this down. Ooh, I got a good idea. We can scroll it down. We can just snap it onto here. There we go. You can do the same in the front. No, I can't. No, I can't. Dang it. Um, number eight. Uh, I don't need to do it all the way across. Like I said, I'm trying to just save on weight, but if I put it here. And we rotate you that way. There we go. Now it doesn't matter if I need to destroy something, I can. All right. Whoa, the music got like super intense. Why so loud? Number six. Number six should be fine, right? Oh, it won't be fine. We can't put it there. Number five will be fine. I guess? I don't know why that works, but the other one doesn't. It seems weird to me, but whatever. Oh, it's trying to connect it. Oh, oh, I see why. It's actually trying to connect it to the wheel thing, like an axle. Which, I mean, I guess wouldn't be bad, necessarily. My plans never go how I want them to when I'm building some a vehicle. Like all the stuff in Space Engineers constantly, constantly got adjusted as I went. Mostly because of that. I mean, for this, this will be fine to actually use the big one then. Um, rotate you right there. I feel like I'm sliding down the hill. Ever so slowly. There we go. And then I can just put it right in the middle. Okay, so this would be the harvest, not the harvester, but the plow. Why is that the first direction that you go in? I honestly have no idea which side is which side is the correct side. <laughs> Cuz it's the wrong direction, I get it. All right. I did, it doesn't show you the blades until you place it. Kind of craziness. So is that right? Enable blades. What does that mean? 
I mean, I guess this is good, right? Is it close enough to the ground? Wait, why won't you let me place this back? Are you gonna let me place this back here? Yeah, so I can place this one, but I couldn't place the other one. Maybe just too big. All right, well, you know what? Time to test it out. Let's go. Doesn't work. Let's start from scratch. Oh crap! I lied. Stop! Don't don't go anywhere. Is it plowing? Oh, it does drop down even further. Okay, that's well. I just have the fact it's going the wrong way. You don't have anything in you, so I'm not really worried about that. Okay, so I guess we'll want to do the eyelets. Let's place one right here. Let's put one in the front. Put one in the back. That way, if well, whichever way I want to pull it, I can just attach to. No, that's not the right one. Okay, we'll just put that away. Can I just... Alright, so I actually can't have a rope in my hand while I'm doing that? Oh my god, it goes so crazy, though. This is almost as crazy as me pulling the thing around. How do you get it to go in a straight line? I mean, it's working. I mean, I'm plowing the field. It's going to be chaotic as crap. Because it does have to actually go the, the right way. If I pull it, it's just going to take off. Eh, I don't know. It'll still work. <laughs> yeah. It's got very... It's very, very bouncy. I mean, the question is, how long will it last until it breaks? Or will it not break? If it doesn't break, then this is significantly more cost-efficient than it is to uh, use the plow. This is so weird. <laughs> I mean, is there any other way to power this thing? I mean, I could potentially... One thing I could see myself doing is having, like, maybe two or three plows. No, nah, because then you, it's just going to be an insane. I mean, like, you could have basically all of them set up right here with, like, a wheel up here that pulls them up, and they just come down. So you just re release them, and they just kind of come down and plow everything. And then just put them back up again and wait till they need to be plowed. But then the problem is if you have a harvester, then you'd have to harvest everything, which, I mean, harvesting stuff isn't bad. I don't need a harvester, to be honest. The two I feel I find the most pain in the butt is plowing, because your freaking plow always breaks if you have a slightly big field. Or planting, which, I mean, this is, it's not bad can't go too fast, otherwise it doesn't seem to work, but I don't know. doesn't seem like it's bad. I think it's going pretty good. In fact, I can just remove it, though, and, like, try again. Do something different. Maybe maybe if I added weight to it, it wouldn't be so bouncy. Maybe that's a problem. There's just not enough weight. Yeah, I wanted to keep it light, but maybe that wasn't a good choice. I think there's a weight option I can make or something. Maybe not. Yeah, no, because I left him in that in that place. Oh, yeah, and then there was one more thing. On the map, somebody said that there was a question mark next to me. There is totally a question mark next to me, but unfortunately, nowhere near a fast travel. So I'm probably going to save that for next time, mostly because I think I've been recording for quite some time already. Um, but there is another one that's literally, like, right over here. I didn't realize it was there. In fact, if somebody had said something in the comment, I may have never noticed it. It's like, there's not one near me. Yes, there is right there. And then also that, like, this was basically the other side of the world. I didn't realize that. Like, I'm like, there is no Bel Beladar or whatever it is. Bar Hadar. But it's just the opposite side of the world. So we're right here. If we go on that side, I assume we go to this. And if we're where we are now, so we'd actually go... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Bar Hadar is to the west. So yeah. 
Never eat slimy worms. That's the way that I always remember. To the west. So that would be over here. So we would come over this way. Then this way. Then hit here. Yeah. Alright. That makes sense. So this was the other question mark place, right? No, this is where my treasure map was for. But there is a question mark here, I noticed. Right here. This one is relatively fat, or close to fast travel. Not close enough that I can travel to it. Mostly because I'm hungry. I haven't been eating food this time. I know, I know, I know. Everybody's always like, you're starving yourself. I feed myself all the time, except for when I'm recording, mostly because I don't have the food on me when I'm recording, because I put everything away. So I have just what I need for when I record. <laughs> But it's like, I, I, somebody said that your food, your health, and your stamina increase. I know there's one or two foods that do it, but I never have the resources for those foods. This is working pretty well. I mean, this is fun in a sense. I like to just have it spin around and go crazy. But it's not quite getting these last little chunks. I mean, I may have to use the plow for... That's, see, that's still fine. I mean, in comparison to how much I used the plow before using this thing. Ooh, here's the real question. Okay, let me... I should probably turn off my plow. Okay, disconnect. Let's turn you off. I like the fact that you can disable and enable that, too. Like, that's a pretty cool feature. Let's go inside. Can I bring you inside? That's my big question. Can you fit through my doors? Because if it can fit through my doors, I may honestly remove this fence. And just try bringing this thing in here. Oh, I can't. It can fit through my doors. Oh, that, that light may have to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, this is going to have to go now. <laughs> this is gone now. Because I'm going to be taking that thing over there. That's amazing. I absolutely love it. And I may actually... I said I wasn't going to. But I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to. Oh, wait, what's this? Hold up. I don't have a log. I'm probably going to, like flatten this terrain out a little bit more. This is a little too much for me here. It's just too crazy. So I may flatten this thing out to a much more flatter spot. I'm hoping if I put one there, there, over there at a relatively low area, and then up there. I mean, if I dig it down. Oh, I didn't even think about that. If I dig it down here and then do it, it should let me dig up the whole section here. So I get this as one flat terrain. Or I could set it up as two. Put this one up here as one over to here and then around. And the other one right here as a lower spot. I think I would like that. That'd be good. But <laughs> that's going to be a lot of digging and a lot of moving. And the fact that I can bring this in here, though, is just gonna, it's going to make it so much easier. Especially the cedar. I mean, I, I made wheat seeds, right? Yeah, I got all my wheat seeds in here. I know I can bring it in. So I know I can do that. Let's grab our wheat seeds. I'm going to go plant a bunch of wheat seeds out there in that field that is made. Let's go. Nope, put that away. Can't have anything in my hands. That's the trick. These are things I'm still learning now because I haven't used the pulley option much. All right. Drag you out here. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, the cedar. I need, no, no, no. Let's make sure we're in our field first. Because I just plowed it all, but I want to make sure that I don't just start seeding the grass. That would not be good. Not be beneficial. It's getting dark. I'm going to go sleep through the night real quick. I'll see you in one second. Okay. Let's put all the seeds in here. It's morning now, so we can actually see. Uh, go back to this view. Put the hoe away. Uh, the last little few touches I, I finished off right, qu right quick before I went to sleep. Okay, so you're just gonna, we're just going to roll around. This is actually easier to plant for sure than when I attempted to do it because it did not not go quite right the whole time like it just kind of bounced around and placed them all weird definitely plants pretty well this is a time saver for sure oh we just go back and forth okay you're going crazy though gotta, gotta slow down it's just a matter of like making sure to go the right speed i'm gonna just crawl Will this be like the perfect speed to go I just turn around and see how it looks yeah, that's not bad. This is the, this is how we do it. I mean, this is still honestly faster to plant this entire field than it is to walk around and try to do this. Oh yeah, so much faster. There's so many of them, and they're actually closer together than I feel like you can normally plant them. 
Don't roll downhill crazy. I'm just trying to get in the right spot. The big big trick is I went all kinds of crazy. Yeah, it's all wibble wobble. I don't know how well it's actually putting them together. Okay, it's just too slow. I can't do it. See, then that happens, and then it just goes completely crazy. I mean, we could just have fun with it, though. Whee! <laughs> as long as it gets planted, I don't care. I don't know why I just suddenly developed a crazy accent there. All right, over here. <laughs> Woo! See, look at this. Oh God, too much. Don't go. Don't go off. Don't go shooting off. Come on. Come on. All right. Boop a doop boop. I think I'm actually out. I think I've used all of my seeds. Yep, that was all the seeds. But that was still like a thousand times faster than it would have been if I was trying to plant them by hand. I like this plant, this thing. This thing is going to be fun to play with. So I'm going to just push it over here. It's going to stay there. Lots of wheat growing. I think I'm going to probably end up turning all this into seeds so I can just have a ton of seeds to just keep planting and planting. I know I have the harvester, but A, there's nothing for me to really harvest. And B, I don't really see the point of it. I made it, and as soon as I made it, I'm like, why did I make this? I mean, harvesting stuff's not bad by hand. I guess, I don't know. Maybe there would be a point to it? No, I just don't see a point to it. <laughs> it only takes a minute to, like, harvest everything by hand. I feel like if, if I had, a, you know, a controlled system... So it didn't, I know I'm running back and forth. If I had a controlled system that could, like, you know, actually maintain all that, then I, I, I'd be good. But I don't. I don't know a way to just have it set and going. So it's just, it's just easier to harvest by hand. I'm just going to put this away. We don't need it. We don't need it. It's not necessary. All right. So I think for now I'm done on the farm. Like, our, we we're good. We got harvesting going we got a new farm up i have my old farm up this thing is going to totally do everything i need it to and i can as long as i don't put the seeds in there it won't do the seeds and the plower the plower the plow as long as i don't activate it it won't sit there and plow just randomly so i mean i don't know i really like how that came together maybe i should add more weight let me know if more weight would make it less bouncy or easier to control or a better way to control it in general <laughs> be awesome if there was like horses in this game but I don't think there is I'll remove you because I don't need you here anymore um, I think next time though is I'm gonna go shoot off to the place that's near us I'll probably be there when I start up next time because it's a long flipping run so I'll probably be there next time and then we'll end up going back up to the castle working more on that because down here yeah I feel like down here is pretty set needing supplies this thing's gonna keep making up uh, linseed oil into well, no, it's going to keep making linseed oil. It's going to keep using these for that. I didn't realize I had that many. Wow. I had one more I could plant. Yay, I'm going to do it, but not right the second. Um, oh, the oil. That's what this was. That's right, right here. You don't actually tell me here, though. But it turns one bag and two things into... It basically makes two oils with one when you're doing this, compared to if you make it yourself on the millstone, it only gives you one. So I, I couldn't figure out last time why the oil I was like what why isn't it working with just one clay pot in there because you need two clay pots because it does two every time and this is actually starting to break already I've used it so many times it's like slowly deteriorating away this one's I don't think I've ever even used I haven't I haven't needed to make wheat yet but I will relatively soon but yeah uh, I'm gonna end it here for now so thank you so much for watching and yeah, next time we'll do some more adventure and then work more on the castle. But bye-bye for now. Woo, I'm too spinny. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>